Nope. Not the best idea. Putting paint over your blemishes on your face, probably not the wisest choice. It's another day at the office. Why are you telling everybody off today? That's the fifth time or hundredth that she went off just on a barking tangent. What's wrong with you today, baby? You pissed at the world? Me too. Aren't you? Okay, are we all good now? I'm gonna put you up here on the windowsill so you can bark at the fence. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's it. Now you get it. So, um, yeah, I recommend just cleaning your face with some sort of soap and water and not paint. I got some inside news that might be helpful to you uh, aspiring actors and actresses. There's a TV show that's filmed here in Texas on, you know, various locations and various uh, places around Texas, Central Texas and stuff. It's called The Sun and it comes out on the AMC network I believe. I haven't seen the show myself. I watched the trailer earlier. It seems pretty kind of interesting. Pretty, you know, alright. Um, not my type of show but, you know, it's like an old western type. Pierce Brosnan is one of the main celebrities on the show. Main uh, characters. Don't know his name. I think it's the McCulloughs or something like that. Anyway, um, mid-November, they're going to be filming season two. So, if you want to get yourself involved, I believe Brock Allen Casting is going to be doing the casting for it. You know, so they're going to be looking for extras and background and bit parts and stuff like that, possibly. Um, send off your resume. Send off your photos. Stop shaving. Guys, ladies, you can probably shave. Um, but guys, I just tell you this, from experience in working uh, as a background extra and stuff like that, the best thing you can do is let your hair grow. If you have any fake color, like blue, red, green, highlights, anything like that, let them grow out or whatever. Like, don't keep doing it. If you go platinum blonde or, you know, whatever, let it go. Just let your hair be the way it's supposed to be. Get your natural look going. Um, especially like with your facial hair and stuff. If you can, as far as work goes, you know. Um, because when you go to a cattle call or they take pictures or they look at your photos or whatever and they have you in, they're gonna see what potential you have. And if they can sculpt your facial hair and your hair on your head to something that they could use, you're more likely to get it. But if you go in there with the mohawk and a pink dime bag Daryl goatee, mm, may not work out for you too well. But you never know. It's all about your abilities and, you know, we'll see. The dogs are barking. Probably at a shadow. They stopped. That's good. I don't have to go out there and tell them to hush it. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, the sun, mid-November, early December, somewhere in there, look for that. But you know, the best thing you can do as somebody who's trying to get into the, as an extra or whatever, is try to go get yourself a decent set of headshots, um, close up face, waist up, and then like full body and your regular, I mean, try to look like you, like don't glamour it up, you know, don't phony it up. If you wanna go for a couple different looks in those pictures to get what you look like, and whatever, you know, but send them to everybody. That's what I did, I got, I got pretty lucky. I did a lot of feature films, I did a lot of independent and student films, I did some radio stuff, I did a couple commercials or so, probably like four, three or four commercials. Uh, Bud Light, Miller Light, I think two Miller Light commercials. I don't remember. 
Anyway. Anyway, uh, send them to everybody. And especially if you're in Texas, I'm sure every state has a film commission online that you can access and see. You're not going to get every project, but you're going to get some projects that are, you know, available for you to send your information off to. Nola, I'm talking. I'm telling them. In Texas, it's the Texas Film Commission. And just go there and then click on jobs, I think it is. And then it'll say casting, crew, and all that stuff. And it'll give you some. A lot of it is student films, um, independent films. But sometimes you'll find a feature on there. Um, I did a lot of work with Beth Sepko and Third Coast Extras, Third Coast Casting, um, back in the day. You know, it's been a long time since then. But try it. You know, you, you, if it's something you want to pursue, you gotta, you gotta want it. You gotta go for it. You can't just sit that, sit back and say no. I'm not gonna do it. You gotta do it. But let me tell you this too. When you go to those cattle calls that say they're looking for actors and models and all that stuff, and you go in there, and you're not, you like, you know what you look like, and you know what you're capable of. They're kind of looking at you in the same light like they're thinking this guy can't be a model well no no shit you know I'm not trying to be a model I want to be more in the feature film business as a comedic background or just something to get your foot in the door right so those things those cattle calls are difficult you know what I mean especially if it's not specifically for a specific project you know, if it just says randomly, we're looking for talent, good luck. I'd say, you know, try to contact a, a casting or a talent agency in your area and go in there. Let them know what you're trying to do. And you're going to have to bring something to the table, you know what I mean? Like, memorize a monologue from your favorite movie if you're, you know, going the acting route. You know, get a cool monologue that kind of suits you, that kind of takes you out of your person into another character in a way, you know, that way it can show that you have an ability to portray another character. Um, if they ask you, are you willing to cut your hair and all that stuff, when they will, say yes. You know, if you're, if you're willing to lose weight, gain weight for a film or a role, yes. You know, you just gotta say yes. You gotta, because it's gonna, I mean, look at major celebrities that are out there and doing films and movies and TV shows. They're not the same, they don't look the same in every role they've ever done. They look different, you know, except for Tom Cruise. I mean, he pretty much looks the same in every role, except for Lestat. Other than that, you know, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. But that's Tom Cruise. We're not all Tom Cruise. Thank goodness. But, what I'm saying is, be willing to, to work with them, and honestly, you can do it if you put your, put your mind to it and you devote yourself to it. I'm not saying lose everything you got in order to get there, but some sacrifice may have to be made along the way. But try to go with as little sacrifice as possible, if you can. Just go think about it. Just look at, do research. And you'll, you'll understand. You know, I did uh, stand-up comedy. I did improvisational comedy. I, I, getting to the point where you're not afraid to speak or you're not shy to speak in public is a big plus. You know what I mean? So think about that as well. I'm not saying take a... I'm not saying to take a public speaking course or anything, but if it helps, you know, good. Those are a few tips that I can give you from somebody who has a little experience. And you don't have to listen to them. I might be completely wrong in your opinion. That's fine. These are things that I've, you know, kind of suggested to people in the past, and it's helped a little bit to certain friends that have tried it, but you have to be devoted. Definitely got to be devoted. So, on that note, I'm Max Dean, 
thank you for tuning in to my suggestions to whatever and stuff. Good luck, break a leg, research, be willing to bend, sounds bad, and uh, you're going to go far. Try it out. You'll love it if you don't hate it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.